Welcome to another edition of DX Engineering Videos. We're very honored today to have a special guest with us. This is Glenn Johnson, W0GJ. Hello, Glenn. Hi, Tim. Good to be here. Nice to have you here. Glenn, you know, you've, you've done a lot of things in this hobby, but not many people know how you got started. So how did it happen for W0GJ? Oh, I guess it's not a long story, but it is. Um, when I was a kid, my grandfather had an old radio, and I would listen to it uh, in the short wave. I'd listen to all the squeals and whistles. And then I heard some people talking. I think it was probably on 40 meters, and I thought, who are these guys? You've heard this story a hundred times before from other old hams, but uh, that's what got me started. I need to talk to these guys and learn out more about them. So that's how I got started, on my grandfather's old short wave radio. So um, how did, uh, you know, when you were a teenager, and uh, figuring out what you were going to do with your life. What sort of impact did amateur radio have? Um, I got my license when I was 15. Um, and of course, I was very active in contesting and DXing as a teenager. And I wanted to uh, go to electrical engineering. Um, so I went to the to Iowa State University in electrical engineering. And I found out I was not cut out to be an engineer. And I changed my major to forestry. But during that time, I kept active in contests during college weekends and stuff like that. And then uh, I eventually uh, ended up, uh, after getting a degree in forestry, I went on to medical school. And, now, and then I went on to do a residency in orthopedic surgery. So I went from um, tree limbs to people limbs, I guess. And uh, ham radio has always been a big part of uh, our family. My wife is a ham, and all four of our kids are hams. Son-in-law is a ham. So uh, we've all done contesting. We have a club contest call that we use, have used in the past. All the kids are adults now, so we don't, we're not around as much. But um, we still like to contest, and we actually hold a couple records in a couple categories. So you would say that amateur radio had a profound impact on profound. your family. It's, it's, it's more than a hobby um, in our family and for me. So it, it's, and it's probably the greatest, like Rick Roderick says, it's probably the greatest hobby in the world. And so you visited a lot of unique and strange places I have. in your travels. I have. Um, you've been over. To, uh, I've been off, to Ohio. You've been to Ohio. You've been <laughs> off the coast of India. Been to Lakshad Weep in Andaman, yeah. India. Jeez. You've been to Hurt Island. Hurt Island. And, and where is Hurt Island? It's a long ways from here. It's about anti-podal from the Midwest. It's in the southern Indian Ocean. And that was 1997 the VK0 IRD expedition. And now you're a year away from going to another place. And this mm. is the number two most wanted country in the world for DXers. Bouvet, 3Y0. And where is that? Bouvet is at the southern Atlantic Ocean. If you draw a line between the tip of South America and South Africa, it lies about halfway between that line. And uh, it's off north of, everything's north of Antarctica. From the tip of Chile, it's 2,700 miles. So our boat ride will be 15 days one way, and we've got to come back through rough seas. So that's a month of travel just to get there. And we'll be there about two months. Bouvet is an island. It has glacier cliffs. There's really no access by beach. There, there's small, a couple small beaches, but they're not suitable for any occupation. So we're going to be on a glacier. So it's a helicopter landing on a glacier. So it's going to be a very difficult you know, from being in the upper Midwest, it's going to be snow and ice, which is what we live with. But for some of our members, it's going to be new to them. But it's going to be, it's going to be cold, wet, and um, we're going to do our best and give the world a lot of contacts. And, and what role do you play in this? Uh, I'm, there's, what, 20 members of the team? There's 20 members. I'm, uh, there's three physicians. I'm, I've been appointed the, the, the team physician uh, because of my traumatology experience, I guess. So I'll be in charge of the medical stuff, but all the deci medical decisions are a team. Uh, you know, if it's beyond my scope or beyond one of the other scope, we make a team decision among the, the medical guys what to do and what's best. Um, I'm also in charge of the antennas uh, and the mass um, and the shelters. So we've been each assigned a project and, uh, you know, to give our team leaders um, more time to devote to what team leaders need to do. Who are the other members of your medical staff? Um, Arnie and 6HC and Ralph, uh, Kaiser IR, the team leader. So you have uh, three docs that are on this on this. Trip. We have a plumber, a carpenter, and a radiologist. Yes. <laughs> 
Well, that's very cool. Now, how do you top this? I mean, what do you think about, I mean, I know you're very focused on 12 months from now and going to Bouvet, but what sort of is on Glenn Johnson's bucket list? Well, to get this done and to do it right and uh, uh, to do it safely, that's number one, to do it safe. We can't take any chances. Um, it's a helicopter and we have to watch our windows. I, I, I have, I fly helicopters, so I know what's involved, but we've got to have weather windows, got to have wind windows. Um, there's a lot of, we, we just have to be very careful to, and my goal as Glenn Johnson is to make this as successful as we can. Uh, with safety as number one priority. Yeah, that's great. Well, thanks very much for coming in today, Glenn. It was a treat to have you here, and we'd like to have you back when you come back safe and sound from Bouvet. We'll be to back. Give, to give us an update. And I can't tell you, Tim, how much we appreciate all the support from DX Engineering. Well, we're, we're happy to do it, and we're glad you're going. And uh, we just want you to come back safe with a lot of QSOs in the log. Thanks. All righty. Thanks to you for watching another edition of DX Engineering Videos.